Hey everybody, Mike McWilliams, Upstairs to the Ride Music. I have another box this month. Every month we get a box in of new stuff, and I've got another one in this month. So through the magic of editing, let's do this. Okay, here we are. So, um, first up we have a gig bag. Always like gig bags. Shows that you probably got something halfway decent. <laughs> but, we have here a Fender gig bag. Which can only mean one thing. There is a Fender item in here. And I guess you can tell by the shape of the bag what that item is. <laughs> it was, it was like plastic wrap within plastic wrap. <laughs> you see what I mean? I'm happy though. I can't be mad because again, like I said, it just makes doubly sure that this stuff gets here in one piece. And what we have here, guys, is a extremely mint condition uh, 2002 Fender Jazz Bass. This is the 62 reissue bass. Uh, came out back a while back. Uh, well, actually, over 20 years ago now. And here we have one from, again, 2002. And... I think that you will find it to be in excellent condition considering the age. Ooh, it ain't pretty. <laughs> we have ourselves a 2002 Fender Jazz Bass. I haven't had a Fender Jazz Bass in my hand. Uh, for a couple of years now, about four years now since I sold uh, mine and traded in for this Harley Benton behind me. Um, but yeah, for a guitar that is of this age, I can honestly say that it is in excellent condition. So a beautiful example of a 2002 Fender Jazz Bass here. Uh, really happy with that. I've been anxious to... <laughs> now, I can tell you Right now, in terms of weight comparison, this is a boat compared to this. This, I think this has got at least two or three pounds on it over this one. I mean, and that's no exaggeration. This feels like maybe eight pounds, nine pounds. This feels like 12. <laughs> but what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a head-to-head -head in the future between these two bases, and we're gonna see um, if there's really any difference between a Harley Benton and a Fender Jazz Bass. So you guys have that to look forward to. We will do that. Let's put this over on its stand. And put the Harley Benton back on its stand. All right. So that leaves us with one more, and I have to say that this one is the star of the show. So let's carefully multiple layers of bubble wrap <laughs> that this is in. And let's take a look at this hard case. Let's take a look at this hard case here. All right. So, So what we have here, folks, is a little bit of Japanese guitar history. What we have is a 1980 Yamaha. And uh, the SL 700. Definitely a guitar that falls under the so-called lawsuit guitar era. But as I pointed out before, there really was no lawsuit. It was a cease and desist order. But they had good reason to want to cease and desist because they were producing really 
excellent instrument like this one in its original case by the way so here we have a studio lord s700s from 1980 um, in its original case in excellent condition looks like three-piece body yep three-piece body um, three-piece neck probably it's looking like there uh, just a beauty look at that headstock <laughs> didn't even have to pay extra for it um, original pickups everything original this is completely OG including like I said in its original case uh, and I do believe that this actually came with case candy yeah it's original storage bag and it's original tax wow look at that it's original tag from 1980 can you believe that with its original price on it of not a million with its original tag so yep here's its owner's manual and so this is your warranty card <laughs> as well so absolutely completely 100% uh, OG this guitar in that regard so super happy about uh, this unboxing guys today uh, we're going to do a review of this guitar. Uh, as a matter of fact, here before I wind up here today, maybe I'll plug it in and give it a play. But uh, super happy with what we got. So again, we've got this 1980 Studio Lord in excellent condition. And this 2002 uh, Fender uh, Jazz Bass, the 62 reissue in today. Anyway, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this short unboxing. If you like what you saw today and you want to join in on more great stuff like this and see where we go with these, uh, why don't you go ahead and hit the subscription button. It'll really be a great thing for you because you'll be joining a fantastic community of people that's growing every day. Also, don't forget to hit the like button if you like today's content. Until the next one, you guys take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.